The Wizarding World has given us some of the most incredible female characters, women who've really inspired so many up and coming young women, setting such a fine example for them in their reading. However, I'm not here to talk about those women. I want to talk about Nagini and Merope Gaunt. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So Nagini and Merope Gaunt are not exactly straightforward. They come with complications. One has a magical blood curse that causes her to transform into a snake and then to eventually be stuck in a snake's body. The other basically drugged her husband against his will and bore him a child against his will. Somewhere along the way, I believe these two women became friends and they are connected through Tom Marvolo Riddle, aka Lord Voldemort. <laughs> Guys, before we start, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark. This company have continued to sponsor me throughout these difficult times, so I'd be very appreciative if you kept watching and hear what I've got to say, as this product is really beneficial for you all. Surfshark offer you an incredibly powerful VPN to protect your internet privacy. In today's computer age, hackers are constantly trying to gain access to your bank account details, your social media passwords, and access to your personal information, amongst many other things. This can all be prevented when browsing under Surfshark's protection. Not only does it protect your privacy, it also offers you a lot more. Different countries have different viewing restrictions on what content can be viewed. Therefore, by logging into a VPN base in another country, you can gain access to that content that may be blocked in the country that you live in. For example, I've always used the Australia VPN, but it's recently come to my attention that you can gain access to the Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald movie on Netflix by using the Indian VPN, which is pretty cool. If you join Surfshark today, you'll get 83% off, 4 months extra free. You'll also be able to use Surfshark on as many devices as you like, there's no limits. And finally, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. Basically, if you're not happy, if you're not satisfied, then your money will be returned. It's a no brainer guys. So sign up to Surfshark right now by clicking the link in the description below. Now, I can imagine what you may be thinking, how on earth could Merope Gaunt and Nagini be friends, or even in the same country together, let alone the same room? How would they actually cross paths? What would bring them together? Well, it actually starts with Nagini. This woman is part of the Circus Arcanum, as the enchanting snake girl. Someone who can genuinely transform into a snake, although we are all aware by now that it's down to a blood curse, making her what's called a maledictus. Nagini is also a witch too, but it's not specific as to how powerful she actually is. So anyway, Nagini is placed in the circus for reasons unknown. Whether she joined willingly or forcibly is also not made clear, but that's where she's resided for some time now. So what's that got to do with Merope Gaunt? Well, we know that during her pregnancy, she stopped administering a love potion to her husband, Tom Riddle, in the hope that after so long together, he'd have developed some natural feelings towards her. However, sadly for Merope, he didn't. Tom had no feelings, no attraction, no nothing to his wife and was horrified to find out what had actually occurred. He abandoned Merope while she was heavily pregnant and she falls into a deep depression and runs away. Now next we hear of her, she turns up at World's Orphanage ready to give birth after apparently living in the slums of London on December 26th. This is where we first discover the link. After Merope was taken into the orphanage and given a room in preparation for her to give birth, Mrs. Cole, head of the orphanage, a woman who has a lot of experience, notices how shabby the mother-to-be looked and questioned if she actually came from the circus, that she just had that look. So this woman is saying, Merope Gaunt has a look that she comes from a circus. Okay, let's just leave that there for a second. Now, what circus was heading to Europe right after their final show in the United States on December 13th? Circus Arcanus. 
Now a transatlantic trip from the United States to London took five days by ship in those times, meaning that even if the circus left on the 14th, it would still arrive by the 19th, seven days before Merope gives birth. We also know that Merope was living in the slums as I've said, and although Europe can mean many different countries, it's most likely that the first show would be in London. Given her desperate nature, I believe Merope came upon the circus attraction when it opened for viewing, although not to see the performance, but for somewhere to stay. Or is it entirely possible that Merope ended up in the United States through her many months of being homeless and was allowed to travel back home to London on board the ship with the Circus Arcanus family? Given that she's a parcel mouth and Nagini had the maledictus curse flowing through her, both women were naturally drawn to each other. Tom Riddle said to Albus Dumbledore that snakes find him. So let's look at that. They find him. Gaunts have a very powerful connection to snakes and serpents. So is it possible that Nagini was not only drawn to Merope, but also the unborn child inside her? Could Nagini sense the unborn child's power even before birth? Could this mean that Nagini actually sought Voldemort out exactly at the right time? Maybe Nagini was the snake that young Tom Riddle said found him while he resided in Wall's orphanage. It seems that Merope and Nagini could have shared a brief but meaningful encounter, perhaps at a time where they both needed help. Merope because of her obvious reasons, her depression, her struggles and Nagini who benefited from Merope's understanding and connection with snakes. She could have communicated with Nagini in snake form and aided her as even Nagini herself wasn't sure how frequent her transformations would be should she lose control permanently. Guys, I think this is absolutely possible. I really believe that these two women could have had an encounter and don't be surprised if you see some sort of a flashback into Nagini's early life and Merope making an appearance in the upcoming Fantastic Beasts 3. You heard it here first. Thanks for watching again everyone, I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you think of this theory. Thank you so much for watching, I truly truly appreciate your support. Everyone, notifications of uploads are more important than ever, so please if you haven't already, turn those notifications on to make sure you're notified the moment my video goes live. Making videos is what I love to do, it's my dream and my passion, however it does cost time and money to produce this content, so if you have a dollar to spare to support me on Patreon, in exchange for some exclusive unseen content, then you can click the Patreon link below or at the end of this video. Please only support me if you can afford it. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at instadnj and on Twitter at potterfolklore. Check out my other videos appearing on screen and please make sure, most importantly, to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again everyone and please have a great day.